specific event in Tampa, Florida. But the reality is I think I might be able to work it into what you're saying a little bit. So you want to give me a shout out that? Let me, uh, Absolutely. Kind of Go ahead. Okay. Um, it has to do with traffic, driving suspended, seatbelt law, things like that, and how bad the state of Florida keeps records. So, uh, and how people get their license suspended. Uh, when they don't pay a ticket and it never gets unsuspended, even if they went to court. Uh, worst example, in my case, I didn't miss a court date. They paid two, there's just still a $250 bond that they got paid. Never missed a court date, took it to trial. The payment's not even due yet, and they still suspended my license. Can't imagine what the heck I did. So let me tell you how I dealt with it. And it works into your campaign a little bit. The, uh, the local court publishes bulk data files for all the uh, citations on their, on their, on their uh, website. So you can download, download these and put them into a relational database, kind of like the NSA does. And then what you can do is you can run queries against them. So for example, um, I got the name of every person that the police officer who gave me a ticket has given a ticket to in the past two years, about 200 people, and I sent them a letter asking them to come to court. So I want to see the look on that cop's face when he sees 200 people that, you know, he's just gave a ticket to now coming to testify against him, tell him what schmuck he is. Now, that being said, uh, I bought a separate database for email addresses that's got almost 700,000 uh, email addresses in it. The uh, traffic infractions database for about four years has close to a million records. So what I was able to do is merge some of the two databases together and get, I don't have a total count right now, but it's certainly numbers in the thousands where I find an email address that matches a record in a citation database. So this is how lawyers, like in Tampa, Florida, if you get a traffic ticket, within a day, you get a stack of solicitations from lawyers looking to help you. So uh, we're using the same, I'm using the same tactic now for a slightly different uh, purpose, but the bottom line is that uh, you can use this sort of thing in your campaign. I would, if you have this in Tennessee, I would see if you can find these records from your courthouse. Uh, I'll try, I was in touch with the guys at GCN, uh, Charles, and I've been in touch with John Harlan in the past. So I can volunteer my service in terms of the data processing, but that's the basic idea. Sure, you sure. find the people who... who hey, you know, Al, the court and, uh, we, we got about three minutes left. Uh, first of all, fantastic. Uh, if you don't mind, just go to the website, email us. Uh, I would like to hear more about this, but we want to get some other folks a chance, plus i got to close down this segment. Let's um, go to really Bob in Texas. You, uh, Bob in Texas, who we're going to next. Uh, Bob, are you there? Yes, sir. How are you all? How's it, how's it going? We're very well, sir. Good luck in your part of the region up there, and uh, good luck with being closer to D.C. than Texas. <laughs> well, thank I'll you very much. A little, throw a little humor in for Alex on that underwear giveaway. They got them so big, uh, so the recycle use can go out to our TSA agents for what's not used by our illegals. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Uh, so go on. what, what is it you want to talk about with us today? That that was what I wanted to do. Is give oh, okay, a all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought there was more to it than that. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, let's go to George in Connecticut. All right, so next up we have George in Connecticut. George, you're on the air. How are you doing? I'm trying to find out, is there, being we basically uh, cut the senators loose from their general uh, protection uh, duties of the state, of the states itself, are there still any fiduciary type laws that are saying, look, if they do things that are really counterproductive for their state, that they can be impeached, thrown out, or, or something of the sort, at least a process started to show that they're really not uh, working on the behalf of the state. And let's face you know, it, somebody, that, some of these... You know, that's a great question. I know in general, elected officials, judges enjoy something, uh, at least uh, in practice, not necessarily on papers, uh, known as sovereign immunity. Uh, so if a judge incorrectly rules against you and you spend five years in jail, you know, incorrectly, it's found out later the judge made a mistake, um, you can't go through that judge and say, oh, well, you know, I deserve, you know, half a million dollars for spending all these years in jail. Um, myself, I'm a, con I'm a, I'm a contractor. Uh, you know, I build a house. I can be sued forever. So it's unfortunate. Uh, listen, we've only got about a minute left, so I need to close this out. I want to thank Alex for having me on the air today. Uh, my name is Steve Lane. I'm running for I'm in running in the Republican primary for Congress in uh, Tennessee's fourth district. I'd very much appreciate uh, if you could take the time to go to our Facebook, like the page, uh, add us on Twitter at, at Lane for TN. And most importantly, uh, campaigns cost a lot of money. Um, we need to raise money. Uh, Alex has an audience of over two million people. If everyone chipped in five bucks, ten bucks, even twenty five bucks, we would have everything we need to win. So I'd be much obliged if everybody. Uh, could just hit that donate button on the website, hit that donate button on the Facebook page, chip in five or ten bucks, 
and uh, help send me to Congress. I'll do all I can to fight for the Constitution. So I appreciate it. Uh, once again, thanks uh, uh, to Alex for the time today. Uh, everybody have a wonderful afternoon. And uh, uh, let's stand How for the Constitution. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Crippling you? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30